Hello everyone, it's Yoshi5, we're back with, um, a new project. <laughs> yeah, I almost caught myself saying Kingdom Hearts again. But no, we are doing, um, Beautiful Joe. Which, honestly, is a game I should probably should have done a long time ago. I even have it featured on my, um, channel intro. But for some reason, I just haven't gotten around to doing it until now. Got done doing it until now. But anyway, uh, what can I say? This is just a game, I've, like I said, obviously, this is a game I want to do for a while. Heck, it's part of my username, for Pete's sake. Uh, it's, um... You don't even watch the, the intro scene or whatever. Uh, but this is, um... Uh, Beat em Up by Capcom. Released in, uh... 2000? Was it 2003? And that's why it says it's back in the box, so that's what I'm gonna say. Uh, Beat em Up released by Capcom. Released in 2003. Uh, the sequel came out... I don't remember. It came out, like, a few years later. I know this was also a G uh, GameCube exclusive for a while, and then it was also released on PS2 as well. But anyway, um, wasn't, wasn't there anything else? Oh yeah, there was also an anime, an anime uh, released like just like five or so years ago, and that was actually how a lot of people came to know the character, from what I can tell. Like, yeah, a lot of people seem to recognize the anime, but not the game, which surprised me because it's just it's just like like a really cool game. It really deserves some more recognition, but. Anyway, I'll talk more about that later. Um, I did beat the game, for those who would know, if you beat the game, you actually unlock some characters, but I thought they were kind of spoilerific, so I'm actually playing without my memory card right now. I'll put a memory card in later. But uh, for now, we just have the difficulties. Kids is obviously easier, and adults is harder. We'll go for adults. Which, even unlock even more difficulties um, after you beat the game once. And those are just incredibly like, frustrating, but it's still, the game's just, it's just so much fun, you had to forgive it. Uh, really, what else is to be said about this game? Um, I mean, people probably, you could probably also sell Beautiful Joe, and Marvel's Capcom 3, and Marvel, I mean, uh, Capcom versus Tatsunoko. Um... <laughs> yes, yeah, just... A beat em up with a movie, th with a movie theme is it's an interesting idea, and they do a lot of cool stuff with it. A lot of cool powers they use. As you can see right here, the character is just this somewhat obnoxious movie-going fan. He drags his girlfriend to these old movies. Joe, honey, oh, why don't you show me some off-screen action? Whoa, 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 Sylvia! Uh, cut it out! I said cut it out! They don't show these old movies all the time, you know. I've been looking forward to this forever. Well, I've been looking forward to this for a long time, too. We haven't been out on a date in forever. Hey, hey, stop that. This is the best part. <laughs> I'm just, does that I just know this one person who keeps saying that whenever he sees that intro scene, he keeps hearing a zipper going down. And he's just surprised that I can't believe this game didn't get an M rating. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a really uh, story behind this game is really corny as you'll especially see in a second, but Go away. Come on. And thus, it's all played for laughs. Hey, I've seen this scene before. You know why? Because this flick hit the screens way back when mm. we were still little babies. But that guy in the blue mask, I know I've seen him some- Whoa! The girl is mine and shall serve as the object of my revenge. Argent? No idea what that means. The heck? Oops. Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, s Don't you just hate it when that when that happens when your girlfriend's abducted and a giant robot comes flying out of the movie screen at you? It's six machine. <laughs> I 
And there you go, folks. Our first chapter. Joe the Hero. Uh, I just... I, I, think, I know this concept's been done a few different times, but... Just the idea of going to a movie and fighting alongside your heroes is... Just so, it's so cool. I mean, who honestly hasn't done that as a kid? Or as an adult, in my case, but... Wait a minute. Am I... Am I in, inside the movie? Correct, my young friend. I am Captain Blue. I am no longer able to fight because I have been defeated. You must take my place as the new action hero. That voice, it, it really is Captain Blue! Wow! Hey, can I get your autograph? No, I am already gone. I beg of you to take up the torch of justice, young movie lover. Now go. The world is in danger. Your lady friend is waiting for you. Well, okay. Now, easy, bud. I'm pretty sure she's our girlfriend. Cool. A real V-Watch. <laughs> I always wanted to try one on. So. <laughs> uh, sort of a weird intro because it doesn't mean because Joe doesn't explain what the V-Watch does until later. But we'll get into that soon enough, don't worry. Ooh, no. Oh, too slow. <laughs> okay, so now we're going over the basic dodging skills. I love this this one at the bottom. A real superhero doesn't just just, doesn't, doesn't just block. He dances out of trouble. Yeah. Yeah, let's rock, baby. Um. So yeah, basically, uh, if you're playing on the GameCube version, uh, Y is punch, X is kick. As you can see, do a lot of basic combos this way, and we don't need to practice anymore. As you can see, you avoid the skulls. When the skull's on the bottom, you jump. When it's on the top, you duck. And, well, you know, <laughs> the tutorial already said that, but let's reiterate. Uh, whoa. Kinda, oh, darn it, it's kind of hard to tell when it's at a different angle like that. Okay, well, as you can see, um, it's better, the uh, lower lackey enemies will um, get stunned if you dodge their attacks. Which makes things pretty easy on you, and I tend to do too well there, but... Oh well, there's plenty of room for improvement. Uh, let's see, you can get down here... And collect the coins, because obviously you use that to buy stuff. I mean, what else would you do with coins, really? Uh, collect the V-Films, they'll increase that gauge on top of the screen. You know how you had those films? Uh, with each 50 uh, V-Films, one of those screens will uh, move over. Um, and you'll see why that's important later. For now, just defeat these guys, and that guy's too close to spikes. Fine, I'll just kick you. <laughs> uh, whoops, oh. Yeah, it's kind of weird how you tilt up the jump to dodge, but you press A to jump. This takes a second to get used to, but the controls work really fluidly once you get the hang of it. And... One second. Whoa, good thing. Good thing both of those guys were, uh, trying to hit me from below, or else that could have been bad. Now you have these ballerina guys, which are the same things, um, which basically attacks in the same way as, um, uh, these enemies. Called, they're called blankies, I think. Yeah, beautiful. If I just did some more combos, um, I would have got a perfect ranking. As you see from the ranking system, there's V-Point, Time, and Defense. Uh, for V-Point, I obviously get the better combos and collect as many of those V-Points, as you can see in the top left, those, the 1,510. Uh, you can use that to buy stuff, you know, later on. Um, defense, obviously, don't get hit, and time, do it as quickly as possible. Do all those well, and you can, uh, get the best rankings and stuff. My young Joe, on, it looks like you haven't awakened to your true power. No, we haven't awakened to Jack yet. I'll show you how to be a real hero. Oh, you're gonna... Come and Dude, your belly button's hanging out and stuff? Oh, come on. And now we're... Uh, you can't attack this guy with his Captain Blue when his defense is bears up, so you need to dodge his attacks. And, whoa, you need to wait till... You know, just keep an eye out for the skull icons. Oops, darn it. I need to be closer to him, though. Then, once you dodge him, the blue barrier... Oh, darn it, I think... Okay, I'm good. Blue barrier, make sure you can't attack him when that's up. And we think I got him here? 
Oh no, whoa. Yeah, watch out for that red hot kick. And, ooh, we got him. I think that might have been a perfect. Let's see. Ah, oh, darn it. That was too slow. Ah, your heroes has awakened. Now the Phoenix is responding to your hero instincts deep down inside. When the glow. To glow and say the word. Oh, you guys pay attention. This is the most cheesy and awesome thing ever. Oh, yes. Oh, that is <laughs> so amazingly <laughs> cheesy, but I know I said that like three times already, but still, that's, oops, me dodge that guy, and oh, such an amazing, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm easily impressed, but anyway, uh, so now we got this new power, Slow, and of course we got this cool new outfit, uh, but if you run out of Slow, I mean, your VFX power, uh, you do turn to regular Joe. So, uh, you know, don't do that. Uh, don't use slow too much. If you press L, obviously, like the tutorial said. Uh, your, your punch just gets more power, gets powerful, it's easier to dodge attacks. And even if an enemy attempts to hit you when you're in slow, uh, Joe will even do an automatic dodge. Which sounds nice, but you burn through VFX incredibly fast when you do that. So it's really not recommended. Um, but, you know, it's... Losing your VFX is a lot better than taking damage. Although if you turn into regular Joe, you're probably going to be taking a lot of damage anyway. Um, as you can see, when Joe's in a beautiful form, you also do a double jump, which is very handy. Um, so let's collect these VF these uh, V films so we can get even more VFX. Get these, get some more health or coins. Excuse me. Uh, what you're seeing right now is Rock On. <laughs> yes, I know. It's, you know, it's lock on, but instead it's just rock on. So cheesy! So amazing! Anyway, um... If you dodge an enemy attack when you're in beautiful Joe form, and you go into slow and hit an enemy, they'll get these... Each enemy will get, like, this target reticle, and you do you have to get combos and stuff. The more enemies you hit, the higher your combo meter goes up. Well, like, you'll see as we go on. Is it... Whoa. Let's take this guy out as soon as possible, because this Joker guy can be a pain. Uh, in this first fight, yeah, I'm sorry if it's, that's spoiling it, but you'll see this guy a lot later on. Later on, he like starts fighting with guns and swords, but for right now, I think he just punches and kicks you. Don't even, don't even bother. Um, don't even, don't even bother just waiting for these skull icons. Just punch and kick this guy. And what we want to do right now is uh, hit the V's. As you can see, there's also like cheap cheeseburger and stuff. You want to get some more points, but if you let's get the key as soon as possible, because we are being ranked after all. Grab these fee films and grab this. Aw, oh, man, I did really bad there. But uh, anyway, you can also if you want to get some more points, just uh, oops, come on. Don't let your VFX power run out now. In case you can't tell, it's the blue gauge at the top of the screen. Uh, let's try getting some more coins, because we want to buy some stuff later. Uh, okay, guys, that'll do it. Unfortunately, I think that'll do it for this video. I mean, a lot did happen. Joe became beautiful, and we're off to save his girlfriend, or lady friend, as Captain Blue said. But either way, it's time... That, uh, excuse me, the time for this video is over. So, guys, next video, we'll go save our girlfriend, Sylvia, or at least we'll take one more step in our journey to... or whatever. Sorry. Don't... Why can't I talk today? Anyway, uh, see you guys later. Peace out. Take five.